Ladies and gentlemen, tag team turmoil is underway to determine the number one contenders to the Anarchy Tag Team titles currently held by the rather intimidating looking individual standing over my right shoulder, Jason Blackman. And the good looking guy sitting next to you. Go ahead. And the man sitting next to me, Jeremy V. Right now, it is JT LaMotta and one half of Hollow Mash, Logan, against the Texas Treats. And the fans here at the arena certainly making some noise. Eight teams from across the United States are vying for a shot, Jeremy V, at your and Blackman's tag team titles. So, what you're saying is, this is a tournament to see who's second best. Well, it's a tournament to see who gets the shot at your championship. Answer the man's question there, Drag Hunter. And you know what? You can't answer, so I will. Yes, this is a tournament to see who's second best. Because everybody knows that every tag team out there plays second fiddle to Jeremy V and Jason Blackman, the NWA Anarchy Tag Team Champion. And might I say it's an honor to have you here. Thank you very much, John Johnson. I can see who wears the pants in this family. A big drop kick from Don Juan, who is... Uh, Showing off a little bit for the ladies. Uh, Joseph of Hollow Mass, apparently not looking too pleased about all this. And now, Logan clubbing forward from behind. Don Juan took his eye off the ball. Scoop and a big power slam. You know, I've been in the ring with the treats, and they're a double tough tag team. These other guys, I don't know much about. Why don't you inform me? Well, of course, Hollow Mass, the team of Joseph and Logan. Joseph, unable to compete here this evening. JT LaMotta is his partner. And LaMotta, big drop Very kick. Nice. On to Don Juan, cover, two, and only a two count. You know, I like the strategy of this team. You gotta love that. Well, you know, and I agree with you there, Jeremy D. Hollow Mass is a tag team out of Texas. They held tag team titles all throughout the state of Texas. Of course, none of them mean as much as the NWA Anarchy Tag Team Championship, That's currently right. held by you and Mr. Blackman. And right now, back and forth, go Logan and Don Juan. Don Juan goes for a boot in the midsection. Caught, ducks, big one for the drop kick from Don Juan. Both men are down, and both men sorely in need of a tag. These idiots in Cornelia think a lot of these treats, don't they? You know, the Texas Streets that were with us back on August 20th, and the Australians been up back in the Memorial Cup Tag Team Tournament, made it all the way to the semifinals. Right, they were in the finals. Excuse me, you're absolutely right. I wasn't here for all that. But definitely in the finals with Treats. And now Chris Marble's in. A big three net breaker there on JT LaMotta. And Hollow Mass looking a little worse for wear right now, Jeremy. Definitely. I, I don't know what the Treats are got in mind to do here, but. They're definitely in control of this matchup. Don Juan takes Logan all the way to the arena floor. LaMotta reversing the Irish oh, trip. Big clubbing forearm after the attempted leg trip there by Joseph Apollo Mass. No, no, no. You see what happened was Chris Marvel was trying to run out of the ring, and Lo I mean, uh, Joseph just tripped him up. Well, and that would be a trip up as well. Jolo inverted legs lead two, and that is it. Hollow Mass is out. The belts are currently in the possession of Jeremy V and Jason Blackman. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And you know, these idiots here in Cornelia, Georgia, are getting behind Cool Side Delay and Patrick Bailey. It just shows that they're bandwagon jumpers. And you know what? They'll be jumping on your bandwagon pretty soon. These people out here, I hear them every week. They boo you. They say all kinds of bad things about you. Not me. I personally like you guys. I think you guys are quite possibly the greatest tag team to go down the history of tag team wrestling. But I mean, they'll be on your bandwagon in no time. They're already on my bandwagon. Oh, bandwagon. Tag a deep arm drag from the human action figure, Patrick Bentley, now going to work on the arms of Don Juan. You know, at one time, these two actually did totally rule. Great Apparently, job. the people here in Cornelia haven't figured out that they don't rule anymore. Uh, right now, tag, in comes Cool Seth Delay. And what time coats these people are. Five minutes ago, they were all about the Texas treats, and now they're all about the three guys. Absolutely. You know, Jeremy V, you're a very smart man. You're wise beyond your years. Nowhere near as smart as you, JJ. Well, I do appreciate that, and that means a lot to me. And right Seth Delay with the side headlock applied. 
Shot off by Don Juan. Big back elbow. Now, of course, we know of the teams currently in this match, where we don't know the order, obviously, but the high rollers, the team of Ron Jordan James Boulevard, Alabama Attitude, and the Urban Assault Squad are all still to come in tag team turmoil. Jeremy V, if you had your preference, which one of these teams would you like to see? Well, it doesn't really matter who it is, but if I had to pick, I would pick the Texas Treats. These guys have come from behind numerous times, and I would not be surprised to see them take this whole thing. But rest assured, win, lose, or draw, next week, right here on this very program, they're going down to the Tag Team Champions. Right now, the human action go. figure. Snap suplex. The crowd erupts, two, and only a two count. You know, you guys have to sit really close to all the trash here in Cornelia. I, you know what? And I say that each and every week there, Jeremy V. And let me tell you something. Every week I had to go home and breeze my clothes a little bit more. I'm going to invest in my son. And a big backbreaker from Don Juan. Looking for the submission here. Holding it in place. Stretching that back out across the knee. Well, you know, he doesn't have much of a spine anyway. Patrick Bentley. What are you talking about? He's nothing but spine and bones. He's a skeleton. No, no, no. With orange tights. See, Jeremy V, you have to, you know, he doesn't have a spine. He has a bunch of bones, but no spine. He's a spineless, gutless coward. I, I see it. See? I used the term out of context. Sorry. So, sorry. I had to make sure you understood that. Thanks for pointing that out. And Patrick Bentley with the reverse elbows being shot in. Hard right hands to Don Juan. Off comes Bentley, caught with the boot to the midsection. Hauled up. Inside lock slam position, Chris Marvel. Big double team maneuver with that slingshot leg drop. Two. Hey, Black. We see what else on those two. Let me tell make you right a note now. of that. Make, make a note of that. Patrick too. Bentley's got long hair. If his hair would have been short, he would have seen that blind tag. They should make him cut his hair. Oh, right there would be a flying head scissors from Bentley. There's a tag. My God, will you listen to these idiots in Cornelia? The fans coming to life, big forearm, drops down Chris Marvel. Reversal of the Irish whip into the near side. One and minute, over. one so minute play. remaining in the Two. contest. Kevin Marks gives the one minute call. If the five minutes expire, then both teams are eliminated. Schoolboy, and again a two count. Well, the last time I heard the fans here in Cornelia this loud, they upped their welfare checks. Oh, good <laughs> grief. <laughs> Battle of the back, neck breaker combination. One, two. And again, a two count, says referee Brent Wiley. These guys are fighting the clock here now. Got him set up. Wait a minute. Oh, no, he didn't tag. Bentley. He didn't, but there's a small package with the legal man delays. Got it, three. Oh, no. Now, how illegal is that? Of course, there's a five-minute time limit. The bell hasn't run yet. I can't understand for the life of me why Sal and Eddie. Whoa, oh, my God. Am I allowed to talk now? Go ahead. Go ahead. The guys are totally wrong. Couple of nice somersaults on to Renaro and Fast Eddie. That breaks up the grandstanding. Double team maneuver. Big bad buddy dropping Renaro was in the lights. But no, watch, no, no, watch Eddie. Oh, wait. No, no, no. You see, that wasn't nice somersaults. Well, that wasn't a great sneak attack. That's against the rules. The bell hadn't rung yet. These guys would never do anything like that. Attack somebody before the bell. They would never cheat. They're good, honest men. And right now, Patrick Bentley ramming past Eddie into the corner. Punches being rained down as the crowd here at the arena counts off with the guys that totally rule. I'm surprised these people here in Cornelia can count that high. All they had to do is count their teeth. <laughs> And rams the two former guys that totally rule together. Does delay and Bentley. Now this referee needs to get some kind of semblance of order here. Number one, Bentley and Delay have been breaking the rules since the onset of this match. They attack him before the bout and they continue the attack right now. It's a tag team, not tornado, tag team. Means one out, one in. And it's also called tag team turmoil, which is bound to happen at some point through the course of this contest. And now, Sal Renaro, and now Sal Renaro and Fast Eddie in charge. Renaro 
using that tape to lace the eyes of Patrick Bentley. Fast Eddie just caught him. Eddie spin out into a suplex. And the team of Fast Eddie and Sally Morrow are in firm control. You know, I can barely hear you over all these idiots here. Sal Renaro is so impressive, Patrick Bentley, or the human action figure, or no, excuse me, the human she raw doll, Patrick Bentley, just what it was like to be a guy who totally ruled. That won't totally rule. God almighty, and what a kick from Fast Eddie. You know, if this match goes much longer, I would love to have Bentley and, and uh, what's that other kid's name? Delay? I'd love to have those guys win this match. Well, they certainly physically would not be much conditioned to compete for the tag team titles. What a right powerhouse now. this Eddie is. Yes, Eddie certainly put together. He has blinding power. And right now, Big Chop sends Delay into the corner. Delay up and over. Now, wait a minute. They need to get two of these guys out of the ring right now. Why hasn't this been done? Why? He hasn't had order in this match from the beginning. Why should he start now? Well, part of the mandate for this match was we must have number one contenders to the tag team titles by the end of the contest. I only assume that Brent Wiley is showing leniency to ensure that that happens. Hard right hand to Sal Renaro. Make it two, utter chaos. But well, we're halfway through this contest. Sal Renaro and Fast Setting with a four team entered in. We still have four more teams out there. Those teams are Urban Assault Squad, Alabama Attitude, the High Rollers, and Ryan Ford and James Boulevard. Uh, Sal Renaro avoiding the ends of Gary. Big suplex sets the lane right behind a big right hand. Make it two. The lane is teeing off on unrated Sal Renaro. And Renaro, he set up, call crusher. This should be all. No, it shouldn't. There's still four men in the ring. Who is the legal man? Tell me that, Greg Hunter. Who's the legal man? Match. I couldn't tell you. If they win this match, one minute. One minute win. remains in the contest. Sends Delay off to the far side. Delay holds onto the ropes. Elevates Eddie up and over Eddie. Finds his balance on the apron. Now, the man's outside hand. the ring. Oh, he certainly is outside the ring. Whoa, whoa, they're about to bump Oh, outside. my Lord. Oh, my God. Not oh, buddy. He just hit a bat, a fall away power slam to the floor. Oh, my God. Seth DeLay is dead. Right. Roll up by Renaro on a handful of tights, and only a two count. Bentley taken out of his boots. Renaro looks like a man possessed. Well, I mean, of course. I mean, he now realizes there's finally two men in this match, and he's got excited. And right now, he's taking it to his four Five people, seconds. Five Bentley, seconds remain. Walking around with that suplex. Big suplex from Renaro. Ladies and that gentlemen, won. we have reached that the five-minute time limit. You know, they're both up. Ladies and gentlemen, both teams they're have been eliminated right. from the tag team turmoil. All right. Shadow Jackson and Nemesis, the Urban Assault Squad. Shadow Jackson and Nemesis. Formerly the tag team champions. Well, Anthony Joseph may not be able to rise at Six Flags, but he's not too smart to get a butt whooping here at NWA Anarchy. Shadow Jackson you know, has got him up. I just a fixed power bomb. You know, me and Blackman are really big fans of the high rollers, and we hope they can pull off this victory tonight because, I mean, they're just the rightful winners. Urban Assault Squad does not belong in the ring with us, and that's, that's obvious. Well, I mean, these guys are nothing more, you know, more than a couple of common street fights. I mean, you know what? I just imagine what you guys had to do to these boats when you finally won them. You had to lie saw them. You had to get the rib stains off of them. All the grease. You know? I mean, come on. Shadow Jackson misses the big clothesline. Powers jokes up for a big spine buster slam. 
Did Shadow Jackson have a little trouble getting him up in that spine buster? That was all power from Shadow Jackson. Big right hand. And the crowd here at the NWA Arena is going nuts for the Urban Assault Squad. In comes Nemesis. Velvet Jones is swinging it air. Come on, high rollers. Cheat, cheat, damn it, cheat. Well, you know, Velvet Jones is a pretty good Arthur, you know. I mean, he wrote that book, I Want to Be a Ho. I thought that was Quincy Jones. No, it was Velvet. Was Velvet Jones. I'm, I'm not sure. That might have been a, a, a distant relative. Big knee drop right across the chest. One, two. And uh, Anthony Joseph making a career decision, putting his hands on Nemesis. Well, you know, I mean, hey, you do what you got to do here in Tag Team Turmoil. Well, that is true. And you don't worry about him, okay? Shorty will be just fine. Tag and in comes Shadow Jackson. Jackson takes Velvet Jones to the corner. Now sets him up. Irish whip. Shadow Jackson comes in. Big splash in the corner. You know, as much as I want to see the high rollers beat the hell out of Urban Assault Squad. Oh, fisherman suplex. It's not very likely. Anthony Joseph came up a little short on that one. Tag and in comes Nemesis. You know, whether the high rollers win this match or not, they made an impression. As a matter of fact, We'll even take her as a manager. Hey, you know what? I tried to talk to Anthony Joseph before this match. Mia, small talk. Mia Vita just made a horrible mistake. Now look at this. Oh! That just goes to show that all black guys are criminals. She should press charges. Off comes Joseph. Come on, one, two, down. Oh, God. And only a one count. Boot to the midsection for Joseph. Forearm shot, make it two. Joseph teeing off. Oh, Nemesis, Nemesis. Headbutt to the midsection. Big knee lift. Shadow Jackson decapitates the young man. You know, if I was Maya V, I'd go and get a tetanus shot. Damn it! And the high rollers are out. Damn it, damn it, damn it! Listen to these idiots here. Somebody's got to stop the Urban Assault Squad. Ron Jordan and James Boulevard. You know, I've been in the ring with both of these teams, and both of them are double tough. However, if they don't cheat, they're not going to stop Urban Assault. Well, Ron Jordan getting taken to by Shadow Jackson. James Boulevard over the top rope to the floor. A big kick to the midsection. Puts Ron Jordan down. Big clothesline. Wow. Puts Ron Jordan on the floor. He put the big man over the top rope with that clothesline. Big oh. spot buster slam. And James Boulevard's ribs are shot. Well, you know, the Urban Assault Squad needs to give this team a chance. And they need to let them get up and get their wits about them. I mean, this isn't fair. I mean, they call this being role models for children. Cover. Don't count. Don't count. One, two. And that is it. Two up and two down for the squad. Damn it. Now, you know, if this keeps up, if this keeps up, we're going to have to go down there and stop them ourselves. Oh, Please welcome Alabama Attitude. Alabama Attitude. It's all right. These guys are going to stop them. The hottest feud of 2005 has heated up 2006. Alabama Attitude and Urban Assault Squad. These teams have gone through everything, including hanging each other. And here tonight, one of these two teams are going to face you and Jason Blackman for those tag team championships. You know, that's a very scary thought. However, I got my faith in Alabama Attitude. And let me tell you why. Every time they've ever been in the ring with the Urban Assault Squad, the Urban Assault Squad has come out with a better end of the stick. And tonight, Alabama Attitude has set their minds to getting their shot at the tag team titles, and we're cool with that, because they deserve it. It's almost been, though, in recent weeks, not so much that they want to get a shot at the tag team titles as much as it is they want to keep Urban Assault Squad away from the tag team titles. What are these idiots chanting? Uh, I believe they're saying kill the crackers, but I could be mistaken. That's what's wrong with America today, all this racism. You know what? Racial violence gets you nowhere. That double-team face buster. 
might end up with Alabama Attitude in the pay window. One, two, and only a two count. Now, this is the final fall of Tag Team Turmoil, which means there is no time limit. When this ends, we will have number one contenders for the tag team title. Of course, this whole thing is brought about when these two teams faced off for the shot at Jeremy V and Jason Blackman's Tag Team Championship and ended in a double disqualification. Damn it, this match is stressing me out. JJ, y'all need to slide up a little bit in case I have to interfere in this match. Well, you know what? Absolutely right. You know what? Feel free to do whatever you want. You're the Tag Team Champion. But as tag team champions, I'm sure you're confident in your abilities to face either of the two teams. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, definitely. We didn't get these tag team belts by a fluke. Absolutely right. By the way, why are Pop and Circumstance not in this tournament? <laughs> well, that would probably have something to do with the fact that Sean Tempers threw his partner to the Wolves. That's neither here nor there. Right now, one of these two teams will be the number one contenders to the tag team title. See, that's why we need more tag teams like this. These two men would never throw each other to the wolves. Now, would you, Jeremy? Hell no. See, there you go. Jeremy V is a fine, upstanding gentleman, as is Jason Blackman. And that will be a fine, flying back elbow that just put Adam Roberts flat on his back. Tagging in comes Nemesis. Adam Roberts scooped up, slammed down. Nemesis falling headbutt. That head of Nemesis is a potent offensive there weapon. Go. There you go, make the save, TC. Go ahead and say it, he's hard-headed. Nemesis is hard-headed, he's not very smart. Have you ever talked to the guy? Well, yes, I have. He's uh, quite knowledgeable on a number of subjects. Well, yeah, of course he's knowledgeable on a couple of subjects, like what kind of barbecue sauce to buy for his ribs, what malt liquor brand is better in a 40-ounce bottle. That's <laughs> What he's good for. I think you're making racist stereotypes there, JJ. And I, I for one, am not racist. I love black guys as well as I do white guys. Hell, even my television's colored. And uh, neck breaker from Adam Roberts. Roberts. With a cover two and only a two count. Tag and in comes TC Carnage. As Alabama Attitude firmly in control of the Urban Assault Squad. And a neck vice applied. And right there, you can see him. He's chattering his teeth and he's trying to give it up, is what Nemesis is doing. Nemesis is saying, I quit, I'm done, I've had enough. I don't want to face Jeremy V and Jason Black. <laughs> I heard that too. Right. Okay, one, Come two, on. come on. I can virtually guarantee Urban Assault Squad is doing no such thing. They desperately want to get a shot at the Anarchy Tag Team titles. You know, this referee must have rode the short bus because that was a three count if I've ever seen it. Oh, this is it. Elbow drop onto an elevated nemesis. Give me some of this water, Greg. And oh, Shadow, look at Shadow Jack Jackson! That was blatant interference. He should be disqualified. He should be excommunicated and banned from the sport of wrestling. He's not Catholic. <laughs> what does that have to do with anything? You can't excommunicate him. Anyway, watch me. Right hand. Why don't he get down off the rope? He's getting this capacity crowd behind his partner Nemesis. Big knee. That's not true. I distinctly heard him say. I need change. Cover and only a two count. He's up on the second rope begging for money. That's all it is. And right now, Adam Roberts pulling his man to his feet. Nemesis looks to be just about out of it. Side headlock pulls him back to the Alabama attitude corner. What I would do right now is I'd take those straps of his overalls or whatever the hell that is, and I'd wrap it around his neck, and I'd choke the life out of Nemesis. Well, choking the life out of Nemesis would be what TC Carnage is doing at the moment, although he's using the middle rope to do so. I don't see that. Hey, the ropes are part of the ring. You should be able to use them. Yeah, but I don't think you're allowed to, you know, asphyxiate someone with them. Was there a tag made? There was no tag, Jeremy B. This is how Urban Assault Squad has always won their matches. They've always cheated like this, and it disgusts me. I can't stand to see two men cheat. Uh -oh. right, I've no. seen this before. Oh, oh. a run. 
Looking for the shoulder block, BDT. Brilliant. Carnage. Smart enough to get out of it. Full Nelson. Oh, count, more on count. Two, oh. and a two count off of that Full Nelson slam. And Adam Roberts is intent, kicking Shadow Jackson outside the ring here. Meanwhile, Nemesis in the ring with Adam Roberts. Adam Roberts, I mean, I'm sorry, he's kind of jumping over. Is that a disqualification here? No, over the top rope's not. It should be. They broke every other rule in the All right, now Adam Roberts has got him set up. <laughs> looking for an inside-out suplex. Shadow Jackson just got posted. Right hand for Nemesis. Adam Roberts tries again. Block the right hand, Nemesis, with a big forearm, make it two. Shadow Jackson just wrapped his arm around that steel post. You know, he's never been the brightest color in the crayon box. Wait a minute. Look at this. He's got the leg, two, brilliant. All right. Let's go to Kevin Martin, yeah. the official word. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner for this matchup and winners of the Tag Team Turmoil, and now number one contenders, Ladies and gentlemen, Alabama Attitude!